Howdy, y'all. Ye old guardsman arm here. In case you haven't noticed, we have a dictator and thief who has decided to go and tell you what you can and cannot do with your own personal property. On top of this, we have the, the mainstream mislead you going out there and telling you that people in construction vests are to, someone to be afraid of because you don't know whether or not they're a terrorist like in New York. And I just need to point out to y'all, I wear a construction vest when I'm out there in the middle of the road, clearing the road so that y'all can actually drive through. I'm out there in a construction vest anytime I'm working around a roadway. Or anytime I'm riding a bicycle down the road. I am. A minute man. The militia wear construction vests in order to protect themselves from undue harm. So do construction workers. So do electricians. So do every other motherfucker that's in the middle of the road. The yellow vest bullshit that happened in New York, I can tell you right fucking now, without a shadow of doubt in my mind, that was entirely black ops, and it was with it one specific purpose, and that was to make you afraid, to make you scared, so that whenever you see somebody in a yellow vest, you go running to the cops and say, I saw this guy out there, oh my god, oh my god, he's gonna hurt us all. And you completely fucking totally separate your brain from reality, logic, and reason. You don't pay attention to what's going on around that guy, what he's doing, what they're doing, because you're paying attention to the yellow vest. Does this ring a bell to any of you? Did anybody pay attention when, um, you know, France and... England and Scotland and Wales and Germany were all marching around in yellow fucking vests protesting the bullshit of the COVID-19 crap. Were any of you paying attention? Because I was. This is why they're targeting the yellow vest thing. This is why that is even in that particular media fucking mislead you crap is because they are interested specifically in taking away your ability to protect yourself. That way, when you speak out, when you say something that they do not like, they can take you out without any fucking thought or question or any worry about what might happen to them. And you are to blame. Because you got scared of a fucking inanimate object. Welcome to your own hell that you made. And if you don't like what I have to say, too fucking bad. Buck up, buttercup, and fucking listen to the reality and the logic that is coming at you. Because this is the situation. You have screwed yourselves. You have made it possible. Stop being afraid. Reach down for a bigger set of fucking balls. And grow the fuck up. And for all those women out there that are going to go and snowflake the fuck out and say, well, I'm a woman. I don't have balls. Then grow a fucking pair of ovaries, goddammit. Quit being a fucking puss. You are not a child. My video is not for children. My videos are not for children. My videos are for the adults that are adding to the problem. When you have fucking gotten the comeuppance for what you have done, don't say I didn't tell you so. Matter of fact, I won't accept your apology. Wahoo, EO Guardsman, I'm out.